Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about max a function in Power BI DAX. This is one of important DAX function in Power BI reporting. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will deep dive about max a function in Power BI DAX. Before going to implementation, let me explain what is max a function in Power BI and what is the syntax of max a and what are the examples provided by Microsoft Power BI team. Let me go to my browser to understand max a function in Power BI. Let me open official page of Power BI DAX. Max A. Max A function is nothing but it returns the largest value in a column. But Max A function can implement only in one scenario that is Max A of column. Okay. But Max function we can use in two different scenarios. We can use in between two scalar expressions also. That is the one difference. Parameters. Parameters is nothing but about what we are passing here. Okay. Column. The column in which you want to find the largest value, return value, the largest value. Remarks, there are some remarks as there. The max a function takes as argument a column and look for the largest value among the following type of values. That means max a function will work for numbers and dates, but max function will work for text also. That is one difference and logical values such as true and false rows that evaluate to true count and rows that evaluates to false count as zero that means in a column uh, if you have uh, true values then it will return one and if you have false values then it returns zero okay that means max a function will work for logical values also empty cells are ignored if the column contain no values that can be used max a function returns zero if you want to compare text values use the max function okay this function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security roles they given two example example one the following example return the greatest value from a calculated column named reseller sales margin that computes the difference between list price and reseller sales okay so max a of reseller margin okay that means they applied for the numbers in six example two the following example returns the largest value from a column that contains dates and times therefore this formula gets the most recent transaction date okay so that means it will return maximum date uh, from the table okay max a of transaction date so it will work for numbers as well as dates so let me go to my power bi desktop to show better way i'm taking simple click on okay so i'm taking products table product id product name quantity and price is there let me click on load don't worry it won't take much time to load okay my table is loaded into the power bi desktop in memory now come here so in this table i want to find out the maximum value from the price column so you can take either calculated column either you can take calculated measure if you take calculated measure so value won't appear here if you drag into the report view then only you can see if you take calculated column physically it will appear and that column will be added here okay now taking new column i just mentioned max a price okay equal to max a price 
enter. So 500 is the maximum value from the price column. That's the reason why it returns 500 here. Okay. Now to show these two example, I want to take data from the adventure data works. Let me connect to my SQL server. If anybody watching first time my video, please check class number three and four. Why? Because in class number three and four, I clearly explain how to download and install adventure works and not win databases. If these two databases, you will get familiar with the real world data. That's the reason why I am telling. I am taking dim date and also I am taking fact internet sales. Load. Import. Import is always faster than direct query mode. So performance wise always it is better. My tables are loaded into the Power BI desktop memory. Now, I want to find the maximum data from dim date. Okay. Or you can find the maximum date from here also. Here, ship date is there, order date is there, due date is there. Okay. So, whatever you want, do it. So, in dim date, we have full date alternate key. So, I want to go for uh, dim date, okay, full date alternate key. So, right click, I want to take new measure. Max date equal to max A. So, full date alternate key in the dim date column. Sorry, dim date table enter it let me drag to report view let me convert to card to display the number okay this is the latest date from the full date alternate key column in the dip table okay so for date also it is working now I want to find out maximum sales amount from the packed internet sales. Okay, here sales amount is there. So I want to find out the maximum sales amount. So I am taking new measure. Max sales equal to max A. So amount amount from the packed internet sales enter let me drag to report view let me convert to card to display the number so this is the maximum sales amount from the fact internet sales so in this way we can implement max a function first and dates okay this is very useful in real time environment we so many times will use in real time project okay thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training you can directly email to this email or directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching my video